Amigo, New York. Spencer's Pond. This tournament's gonna involve okay. six rounds. Okay. Uh -huh. It's gonna start off with number round number one, where you go out, you get six pass shootout. You go out and try to get your PB, but you must complete a pass short of your PB. Okay. Second round, you go out and you try to get the highest ball you can at any line length, whatever you can. The problem is there's a handicap between the top and the lowest ranked skier. Okay. Third round is a scream at 36. And you've got to go out a certain line length, depending on the handicap, at 36 miles an hour with added RPM. Fourth round is the Brain Park Thin Protector Pass. Okay, we know what that one's about. <laughs> Fifth round is going to involve skiing with a little bit of uh, occlusion, but your partner in the boat is going to direct you through. And another round is going to involve endurance, okay, with penalties for missing a pass. So I, again, highly recommend you have some aspirin and caffeine for this, because this is going to kill you. the prize money for the winner. My plan for today, yeah, being as a tournament for money, first one ever for me, I'm just going to change all my ski setup. <laughs> Okay, Scott, what are you starting at? I think I'm going to go out at 35. I mean, okay. I've been successful in running the pass once this year, so I figure I got that behind me. I can just start there now. Okay. Look. Ooh, nice hard pull. Okay, everyone, we've completed four rounds of the uh, first annual Spencer tournament. Let's take a look. In the lead, we got Brent. Total score is 20 points. Brent, your PB today was what at what? Uh, three and a half at 35. Is that new for you here? Yeah. Scout, we got you 14.5. You redeemed yourself on the fast skiing. Thankfully. Because you totally screwed the pooch on the yeah, you, endurance you, you there. Sucked. I got Ooh. no endurance. But you know what? Every round has something for everyone. That wasn't your round. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got 16.5, and then Matt got 14.5. He uh, did uh, four and a half, or four, at 35 off 36 miles an hour. So, um, tell me about sun yes. protection. Well, sun protection, especially on your ears, is very important, and this hat provides both anterior brim protection but also lateralization. When I'm driving, if Brent is yelling at Megan, what I'll do is I'll do this, I'll drop one down. All right, or if he's coaching Des, and I'll pull one up so I can hear the skier. It all depends on what I want to hear and what I don't want to hear. Yeah, you follow? Uh, round five is the fin protector challenge. Some more different now, but it's, 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 it's gonna come off. 34 miles an hour, 28 off, fin protector on. You know, Scott, last night you could have Actually, you can jump in it short because you get a fin card on. How are we changing this? We're not. We're just going to go to 24.7 miles an hour so that you can at least turn the skin. 24.9. All right. So we'll see what happens. All right. I hope you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I think this is his first out the front this year. Oh, he's got one! Oh! 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 Eric's 
Got a bit of a different approach than Matt and how he's protected his fin protector. That's correct, and I'm not using any gloves because I want to have full tactile sensation here to relax on the handle. Now you go hard! Go hard! <laughs> <laughs> No point for Eric. No points. How'd it go? Uh, I can't see. No headwind, tailwind. So when you get to 32 off, you're you're gonna be set. See that big sort of Well, his body position says no. <laughs> What's up, Matt? <laughs> um, I had to go. Are you um preparing the water for bread? I think. Pull out wider! You'll never make ball one from there! What are you doing? He's forfeiting. He's got the big lead and he's forfeiting. I'm a moron! Um, we're, we're in the blind skiing phase. Alright, so what are the rules? Um, no disrespect to any blind skiers. Uh, but uh, we're not exactly sure of the rules, actually. The rules um, are... I have to wear these glasses. 20 miles an hour, 20 it off, and someone on the boat will give you signals when you turn in and when you turn. You must feel the power of the force when you are turning for the balls. Round six of the first annual Spencer's Water Ski Challenge. Brent just did the blind man skiing with the glasses. He got one and a half buoys at 30 miles an hour, 28 off, which brings his final score to a 16.5. So, in fact, if we look how things ended up here, after six rounds, each round highlighting a skier's different ability, uh, you'll notice that it pretty much worked out as anticipated. Milano came in at 20, Seabolt 17, and then Canadian crap somewhere around here. <laughs> All right, Matt, as the cash prize for the first annual Spencer Ski Tournament, six rounds of hell, two days of, of nervous anxiety, laughter, video, fun. It's my pleasure to present to you this $100 bill that you actually gave to the So Thank you. Thank you. I like it. Thank my sponsors, well, Water Ski Magazine, uh, Ski Hard to Go Home. Oh, don't forget good. Uh, native uh, sunglasses. No, we're going to forget good. And, uh, <laughs> uh, my lovely wife, it's our anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. honey we, we got a hundred bucks. We'll go to dinner. So the tournament not only brought up the overall energy level, but it, it helped us tap into parts of our physicality spirituality and cowardice on my part and cowardice as well as uh, intellectual fortitude that allows for us to all excel i think it was a success a we go a we go a we go a we go no it's still a little too fruity a we go no a we go Here we go.